if I say that there is an equation where the sine theta value is equals to 3 by 5. like this okay one second mm. it's 4 by 5 yeah that's easy right so it's 4 by 5 but how to find it so if if it is 4 by 5 then what is the value of uh, tan theta square minus cos theta square what is the value of this then right but questions would be like if this is equals to this and what is the value of cos theta so was it what's the value of tan theta and so there can be various questions right so how we find these when we are dealing with this kind of questions how we find the things yeah can you say what is that basic uh, thing we use and uh, what we can use here to find like if I only say find the value of tan theta that's it easy what will be the value four by three four by three right so what is the value of theta three by four theta value is three by four oh tan theta value is three by four no, I am asking only the value of theta. Tan inverse of the value. Yeah. Why why it cannot be sine inverse of 3 by 5? It can be, right? Okay, so question is given like sine theta is equal to 3 by 5. Now, uh, in many cases, like in this case, you will get one answer which you will have to convert and uh, like where you will have to limit your denominators like with some round off of two you'll get it understand how so i can say that my theta is going to be sine inverse of three by five i, I can give like theta is equals to something like this okay theta is equals to this so this is my theta now i'll say okay let it be that theta value this way now I want to find tan theta, that's easy, tan theta and see this is the value 0.75. Now I will have to convert this in rational. So what I can do is rational of tan theta dot limit the denominator with 100. So I get something called as 3 by 4. So is it correct? 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 3 by 4, correct. Right? Yes, sir. They're very easy. So you find directly the theta value, that's a, a sign of this, or like basically sign inverse of 3 by 5. So what is the denominator? 100? Yeah, this limit denominator is working like if I don't write this, what you are, what you were getting? A decimal number, right? So I want to limit the denominator like I I have I want to remove that two decimal places. So for that I have written hundred. See, what is that? Uh, now obviously I'll be getting this. So in place like if I remove this one, tan theta 0.75. So directly writing the rational would give you. Sometimes what happens? See. Now you directly get 3 by 4. But sometimes what happened? That the 0 0.75 is much greater, right? That all, not always you will be getting the answers in 
uh, some three word with some three numbers it can be 0 0.75 some like more numbers up like this right so we use basically uh, the hundred first of all right to convert these first three in a fraction and then that is the answer okay but if it is like only two numbers after the decimal then uh, just you can write rational and you can get the answers but if it is something long wrong like long like this then you can use limit denominator to only go with the answer of this okay like if you say a rational of this dot So this is theta value 56 by 87 something. Okay, like you get the value. Say that. So that is the thing. So like that you can find up various values and all, right? If you if you give the questions easily, right? So you can take it there. Okay, fine. Uh, let's take one question. what will be the value of this equation x Three by two and minus five by two. So that's not very much compulsory to understand it. Yet. Okay, right. So I think we were in logarithm. Uh, not sorry. Uh, we were in some integrals and differentiations, right? So uh, let's talk about integrals. I I'm going to write the equation, and you are going to now solve the questions for the integrals. Okay, let's revise how much you know. So I'll start with very basic questions. Okay. First question. Integral of sin x. Second question. One by x log x integral. Taking easy right now, okay. This would be proper long. Let's leave it there. It would be long.
thing, this is fine. One by no, 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 one second. Yeah, this is fine. So these three questions, easy one, right? Yeah, answers. Done. Minus cos x. Hmm. Then. Do with the systems, not with pen and paper. Pen and paper, it's easy. Try to write, frame those things, and then solve. Third answer? Is that difficult? I'm not saying to do in with pen and paper. Might be difficult. With machine, it's easy. Just frame the equation, write the particular function and get the answer. That's it. You don't have to solve it again. Third answer. See, what is the function you will be using to solve? Integrate. So that's it, very easy. Copy. Paste. Integrate, run, log of log x, done the answer, right, what is the answer, log of log x, okay, next, the last one. And then I also said something regarding the definite integrals. So let's look on that. So last one is giving you 2 log root x plus 1. And plus the constants and all, whatever you get. Right? Okay. Now let's talk regarding the uh, cons like definite integrals. Right? Solving of the definite integrals. Easy we are taking up easy questions. So if I say an integral of one by one plus x square. This is easy one. One by one plus x square. Now as I am saying this is a definite one then I I will also give you some limits, right? So I'll say it as 0, 1. Uh, invalid limits, once again. What is that? Hmm. That's invalid.
Okay, one last. So these are the three questions. Easy ones, quick. Let's complete this today. Quick, quick. Answers. Okay, fine. Let's go. Integral, uh, integrate doing this all. Okay. So I can see you are taking time while typing I hope, right? Otherwise, it's only about writing integrates. Sir, 0.7853. First one? 1st one. 0.78? 0 0.7853. Uh, uh, 0.7853. Or is it pi by 4? Hmm. Pi by 4 is there. I got pi by 4. So you are you doing in pen? With pen paper or with your laptop? Laptop. Okay. Fine. Sine pi by 2 is the second answer. First answer is pi by 4 second answer is sine pi by 2 what is the third one 64 by 5 64 by 5 I think you said 64 64 by 5 Hmm. Okay, fine. So possibly these are the results accordingly you can get, right? Okay, fine. Now same we have for the differentiations. We call it something differential. In case like going with and not with the integral, we say it has to be differential, right? That is also easy. So let's go with differentiations. Okay. So we'll be giving you some differentiation questions. One second. So if like question is not the show show would not be there. Go with like finding the values. Yeah. Like sign 
then cos x square is your u so find the derivative of u with respect to x quick cos of square mm -hmm. cos of cos x square okay minus sin of x square okay into 2x cos x square uh, minus of cos of x okay fine 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 let's see so in this case for differentiation we can only use not with the, like that writing with all differentiation you can just write diff m of u and that's it so is this the answer yes sir okay fine so like this you can uh, basically differentiate anything accordingly like for any of the uh, you know like the equations so let's take one more equation uh, you know to double differentiate so how you can double differentiate here dff of dff diff of di okay All right. something using diff mm. let's see this one is that y equals x of y is equals to x and x. y equals to x and then this is something big x dy by dx I should, I should try to test multiplied by plus Uh, is it so? No. So this is the equation y is equals to x dy by dx whole cube plus dy by dx what should be the value of this what is the solution of this if this is the equation y is equal to 2x 2x okay I, I'm again sharing this to you I right? see this is this is the question y equals to x dy by dx plus dy by dx whole cube that's exactly where it is written up and these are the four options so you saw the answer what was the answer no sir i did it in the wrong uh, okay Okay, you try this at like home. Take this question, right? Try this some sometimes. Okay, so uh, that can be done with all this, right? So mathematics, I hope you all can practice and you can do it right there. So, uh,
now we will be dealing up something called as pandas right that is another package will be going in much detail from tomorrow but for now uh, let's see what we can do with pandas and uh, what there are the areas we can go with that right so pandas is one of the package which deals with the data analytics data understanding data cleaning and a lot of works with the data right you can create your data and you can work with your data here right fine so for that you will have to import just like pandas as it's like standard form is pd okay so we say import pandas as pd basic uh now you can look on to the directory of the pandas and we can just wait to look on what comes all right so these are the things right that is if we go to understand for the pandas what functions are there to understand categorical values what are these things these are like what areas we have to work here right we how we get the output sometime you will be getting as integer type sometime multi index and all right so our thing starts from here that is uh, api from api so it's api array arrays we date range compact concatenate and that score cross tab cut date range descript uh, like describe option errors so mostly what we use is like in machine learning data science sometimes in regression analysis and all we use get dummies right sometimes you'll be getting uh, frequencies mostly we use is na is nl right for null uh, objects null data pivot table we use period range we use pandas itself we are using right okay plottings we use read csv we use read excel feather and all these things are used very less right as compared to everything so i hope if i write we getting a pandas is not better one second package contents right so what is pandas all about let's see a description a powerful data analysis and manipulation library for python as you can read up there that it is very fast flexible and expressive data structures are designed here basically we call it as three dimensions we we did something about the dimensions in the uh, in the numpy right working with one dimension two dimension and all yes sir similar we have here one dimension two dimension and three dimension now what are those things what what is one dimension what is two dimension and what is three dimension so here one dimension we say at something called as series we'll discuss tomorrow what are these things right we have two dimensions which we call as data frames very important and we have three dimensions which we call as panel so these three things are there to deal up with the panel Okay, the very important things. Now series are one D numpy array structure, one dimension numpy array structure. It is there. We can just uh, like whatever we get there is a one dimensional thing, like a numpy array. So you can make series with various list. You can make series with arrays. You can make with list. You can make with tuples you can make with normal like linear numbers and all right so with linear things you can make one series for data frames you must be uh, having 
two dimensional data right like x axis y axis or say a row and a column right only then you can work it along with that now when we talk about the data frames there comes a lot of things right so there is no such range like you can have these much rows these much columns so whatever you go through like uh, in the data understanding the data so, so today i'll be sharing you one link for a data set where you can download all the data set we are going like we will be going through the course right we'll be going through a lot of data sets so data sets like coming up with the data set the very important things are first to understand what is exactly your data about right first of all then you are going to understand like how to visualize that data like if, if there must be some possibilities to visualize that data visualize that uh, you can say the elements of that data what exact it is keeping up there and then with the help of the pandas we can go with the visualizations in there we can go with the matplotlib right I, I think you must be aware of that matplotlib something right and same for improving like uh, if we talk about html for improving html what we did we learned css or something javascript right improving our web pages and all talking about that right same like if we talk about graphs we have one uh, very good package that is matplotlib but if, what if we want to uh, in like increase the formattings or getting something like more out of that so we have used we came out with the seaborn package or the module you can say right where we actually go with a lot of editings go with a lot of stuffs there with the plotting a lot of things are there right and meanwhile uh, there are some like i think i'm not presenting the total screen once again okay so i think you can see this right so meanwhile we have some cheat codes right that is also useful how so this is like variables and data type assignment where you can find out all the possible ways to write something right what are the things for any help you can use help of like the function the strings list methods what are the methods what they do list operations and like what the functions we do like slice subset and all okay then string methods string functions then coming up to the like numpy arrays what are those things in very small thing right numpy okay then a lot more is there for the python itself right to understand what is integer what is float in detail right what are identifiers what are variable assignments okay what what how we say index positive index negative index slicings and all and then you can go with the conversions container types sequence statements boolean logic how it goes how it follows up okay and going like after going through all this thing you will come to one module that is yeah pandas right so there are a lot of functions what we will be dealing throughout the course for the pandas very important with dealing up with all the data not only this there are more than this okay these these are all about the pandas next we have called as numpy basics all the basic things in the numpy we have covered up right some something might not be done right like the stacks and the coefficients and all but you can go with this uh, this uh, codes and all to uh, like get the things if you don't get you can ask right then we again have a pandas cheat code here where it's like an advance of the previous one where you can get to access the pivot tables and all to understand okay the pivot table what i was asking for that thing merging the data and all 
then we'll come to understand what is matplotlib basically the styling the plotting styles and all small small programs have been given up, given up here to understand and then for more uh, you can say visualization right C customization to your plottings you can use bokeh mode right we have nowadays in mobile phones that things otherwise we can use a package called a seaborn and that would be better right so these are the things and like at last we'll learn not at last before also we'll learn that how to import files and work with that so basically i will be sharing and moreover the jupyter notebook shortcuts and all so that you can get to understand everything so i will be sharing this to you moreover you'll be getting everything in very short right so you will understand things in very easy way that would be better right so do you have any questions regarding the simp or numpy numpy or simpy any questions because from tomorrow we'll be starting up with the pandas and i'll share you all these things so that you can go through once with all the codes and all okay so uh, for the pandas also you go through the codes because pandas is going going to be a, a very vast uh, package all that covers everything in the data science with the pandas and then with the matplotlib and the seaborn very important to understand the visualizations so anyone having any doubt with any case of If not, then it's good, right? We can go with like pandas with tomorrow. 